Today, ladies and gentlemen, we got the final leaks for the Crown Tundra DLC to the story, to the shiny legendaries, and everything else right here. Today, in this video, I'm just going to talk about just a little bit so it could be as spoiler-free as possible. But either than that, guys, this is a huge day for the Pokemon community, and let's jump right into it. <laughs> So there's a lot to talk about today in this video guys uh one the story has been officially leaked as well i'm not going to be talking about that whatsoever because personally for me when i'm playing through the game i want to be as surprised or want to go through the story as i am playing through the game there's actually kind of like a hashtag on twitter right now which i have completely disabled so it doesn't spoil for myself only that i'm talking in this video guys is basically what the horses look like uh the shinies for the legendaries and also just some background on Calyrex, the legendaries, and all that stuff right there. So I just want to make that clear yet again that I'm not spoiling anything throughout the story of the Crown Tundra right here. I'm basically just talking about what the shinies look like and all that kind of good stuff for here, guys. But it's still a lot of news right here. And before I actually dive right into this as well, I want to give credit to Central Leaks on Twitter. I have their Twitter, of course, in the link in the description below. So when I'm showing the images and all that stuff right here, this is all credit towards them. And I really thank them for actually showing us you know the pokemon community here today of what to expect here with the crown tundra guys because these are incredible i can't wait to talk to you guys about them and let's jump right into it first thing i want to talk about here guys is something that is insane i'll have of course the images of what i'm talking about just on of course the left side of me or your guys is right and first things off is here we go this is it this is the full-on shiny list of the new legendaries coming within the crown tundra and the pokemon franchise we know a lot about everything but this is something that's huge look at this we have the brand new horses finally shown to us within the pokemon community and i have to give credit because we are two days away from this being actually released and we had nothing like no information on any of these things like the only info i guess we did have was there were these two horses a black and white horse uh just because when we first saw the actual you could say the campaign mission or the story mission of uh, between a sovereign and steed we're like well those have to be horses and us as a community we even called them uh hakuba and kokuba which today we actually got their english names as well which i will be talking about but now you know what? i give them a little bit of credit because i found it kind of cool that we had to maybe find this in the game but it was leaked instead but it's still kind of cool actually seeing them right here we see that there's an ice and it looks like I would say a dark or a ghost type. I think it's a dark type. It kind of does look like a dark type. But either way, we'll start from top from bottom. And I'll give you guys my opinions and impressions of the shinies and in the Pokemon. So we had the Glorian birds. As you guys could definitely see with the trend, they just went with the Kanto version of the birds to put them as a shiny. It's kind of cool, but at the exact same time, I kind of wish that they were a little bit different. Like, it's kind of simple and easy. You would think to your head that they would do this for the shinies, but I kind of wish they did something different. Like, I would say Moltres, for example, right here. You guys already know I'm going to put Moltres on my team within the Crown Tundra. I really wanted that dark blue Phoenix, man. I think that everyone wanted to, but they went with the Cantonian uh, Moltres instead right here, which... I'm not really too sure about man. I think I like the original better than the shiny. If I have the opportunity to get the shiny, then I will. And by the way, guys, I want to say this as well before I jump into any more of these shinies right here is even though we have the shinies, we have the sprites and all that stuff here today, that doesn't mean that we'll be able to shiny hunt them. I want them to a thousand percent just like anyone else, but Pokemon does this as well. We've seen this with literally Zashi and Zamazenta, Eternatus, Kubfu, and Urshifu. And we weren't actually able to obtain those shinies 100% unless if you hacked the game. And I, I just, I really hope that we're able to shiny hunt them. But it's Game Freak and Pokemon, they do that. Uh, usually they would put them in like a different game. So maybe like the next gen or Diamond and Pearl Remix, whatever the hell they're going to do. Or they'll do some sort of GameStop stupid exclusive where you have to go in and pay 5 or $10 for a code for the shiny and then put into your game. Just 
Man, of how this game is hacked so much, I just don't understand if them being locked. It's completely stupid, but that's just a different matter. So I thought I'd bring this to you guys that even though we have the shinies here today, it's not a guarantee that we're able to do it. I really hope we are. If we do or not, I'll bring you guys a video about it. But I just wanted to say that. So either way, we'll move on to Zapdos. Zapdos doesn't look bad, even though it's basically, well, him not flying. And we're just getting like literally the Roadrunner form. That's really what it looks like. It looks kind of cool. I'm not going to lie though. I kind of like it a little bit better than the orange that he has. I'm not saying that the original Zapdos or Glorian one is bad here. Uh, it's it's I'm back and forth with it. Articuno on the other hand is beautiful. Articuno a thousand percent wins the shiny game out of the Glorian birds in my personal opinion. I just, I love it. It's like, yes, it's the exact same as the Kanto one, but just the design from what the Glorian Articuno actually looks like. The colors just fit so right. Like, the end of the wings there are the white, and it turns into that nice teal and into a blue. That, like, just a tail. It just, it looks, it's a fantastic shiny. It really is. I feel like if I had a personal opinion, and if these aren't locked, and I say, do I go for Articuno, Zapdos, or Moltres first? I had to go for Articuno a thousand percent, but Glorian Birds, I would say Articuno's is the best, and the other two are just meh. Moltres is the most disappointed out of all of them, even though that I want to put Moltres on my team. Uh, but yeah, those are my opinions on the Glorian Birds right there. Next up are the Regis. I'll have to say Reggie Draco. Best shiny out of all the ones that we see right here. I love it I can't tell from this image that the red on its body Is it like a little bit more bright than the original? I feel like it's with the eyes as well Like you can kind of see like the eyes being more of the same blue as you know I uh, the Charizard skull whatever that it has around him as his arms uh, And then compared to you know the original one. It's just it's more dark. I don't know man. It's a fantastic shiny I love this thing so much the blue the red it fits perfectly. It's be It's definitely better than Reggie Likey. And depending on version exclusives or whatever it may be, and if we're able to shiny hunt them, I'm definitely going for this thing, man. It is just unbelievable. And Game Freak actually did a well good job at it. Next one here is Alecky. Really, the only thing that changes from him is just the silver on its body, like kind of like on his arms and right onto its body instead of the blue right there. That's really the only thing I see. It kind of reminds me of just one of those electric types that they just get a more deeper or just a, a little bit of a different color. Kind of like Pichu, for example, where it just it's more of a dark yellow than the original. And with Alecky, it just is so over instead of the blue kind of underwhelming but at least you can kind of see a difference right there uh now we get into of course the horses here um i definitely kind of like them so we can see of course with the dark horse here um it's more kind of a what do you call that kind of like a like a dark uh dark pink I would have to say, if I'm not colorblind, I think it's like more of a dark uh, pink instead of it being an original purple. I kind of like that. You can definitely see a difference with it. Uh, the, Of course, the ice horse that you see here, um, it's just more of the ice that's kind of colored. It's kind of like more as a, a freeze purple compared to normal ice. You can see a little bit of a difference on it, but it's not like, oh my god, that is like such a big change on them. It's more uh, more towards, of course, a dark horse than it is with the ice horse, but it's kind of cool regardless. I'm um, not going to lie, at least it's a little bit better than the birds, but or definitely better than Lucky, a thousand percent. Uh, but now we'll move on to Calyrex right here. Calyrex, I'm not really a big fan of this Pokemon. I don't really care for it. I'm just going to get it just to have the collection of legendaries and all that other stuff. Um, I kind of like Urshifu a lot better, but... The only difference I see with the shiny right here is he basically got a tan. He's just like, you know what, Crown Tundra? I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go over to the Isle of Armor, get a tan, and then come back. That's basically what Calyrex's shiny looks like, in my personal opinion. And then now we have the fuses. This has been hinted towards, you know, in the data mines that there's going to be certain items. Kind of like what Zekrom and Reshram have as a fuse with Kiram to kind of transform. I thought maybe they would have something like that. It's just basically Calyrex riding one of the horses. That's all it is. And the only shiny difference of it is it being calyrex like you could see it being normal and then his shiny being literally like what a shiny is and the horses don't change at all if you have the different shiny versions of them i don't know it's kind of underwhelming in my personal opinion it's like it's meh uh i would say like the only three shinies i would like within all these categories is drago I would say the Dark Horse and Articuno. Those are my top three. I think those are fantastic. Other than that, it's kind of meh. 
but it's still very cool at the exact same time that we do have these shinies here today. But before, I, of course, I end this, there are a little bit of descriptions here and there about all these Pokemon that I want to talk about because it is important. And this is the only thing I'm talking about. Like I said, I'm not going within the story or anything like that. I want you guys to focus that personally on your story and playthrough. If you want to go and spoil yourself, there's a whole bunch of Google searches or YouTube videos that probably some people will have. But either way, more description of this DLC right here is this is what the horse is right here. And it says you can choose a horse uh, similarly to how you choose a tower for Urshifu. So this is not a game exclusive, it says. It just it's like a different tower mechanism. So depending on your game, you can go with this one or that one. I'll have to put through this twice just to get both ho horses onto the same account, just like what I did with the olive armor personally. So it kind of confirms right there that these horses won't be version exclusive. It's just a different tower mechanism, which is kind of cool. I like that. Ultra beasts are catchable in the post game. That's awesome. So if you're doing the story within the crown tundra and you can't catch them right away and you're like wait we can't catch the ultra beast you could do that in the post game so at least that's kind of good confirmation right there legendaries are are unlocked as soon as you uh choose the dynamax adventures dynamax is spelled wrong right there it's kind of funny but yeah so uh legendaries simple they're unlocked once you access dynamax adventures that's the whole point of it and then it says right here that the main story is around four hours which is of course longer than the Isle of armor which we all expected i think if you play the Isle of armor right now and just rush through it you'll probably get two hours out of it so so it's a DLC after all, it's not the main game, it's going to be kind of short, but at least it's still a little bit longer than the Olive Armor of what we expected. Uh, right here we actually get uh, the different variations, so this was of course the dex wise of 894 being Regilecki, 895 being Drago, 896 being the Ice Horse, 897 being the Ghost Horse, and then 898 is the Calyrex and then the two alternate forms of the two horses that you choose, and then people are thinking of 899 and 900 being new mythical Pokemon, which we have no idea about uh, yet, which it would make sense because, you know, 901, 902 and all that stuff would be for a new region of Pokemon. So maybe we'll get some new mythicals along the way, but those are, of course, the official numbers there. Uh, now we'll get into the description of these Pokemon. So like I said before, as a community, we call these horses uh, Hakuba and Kokuba, if I'm saying those correctly. And now we actually get the official English names here today. So I'll read them out here. Here, lads. So, 896 Glacierier, if I am saying that correctly, a wild horse Pokemon. So, Glacierier emits intense cold from its hooves. It's also uh, a, B a B Bulgarian Pokemon. I'm definitely saying that wrong. Anything at once, it takes by force. Glacierier has tremendous physical strength, and the mask of ice covering its face is a hundred times harder than a diamond. God damn. Ability at chilling. Nay, does that say? When the Pokemon knocks out a target, it utters a chillin' nay, which boosts its attack stat. So that's kind of cool right there. So every time that you knock out a target, your attack stat goes up. That'll be good for raid battles. That'll be good for general. Um, maybe even for competitive Pokemon wise. I can't really talk competitive Pokemon because like I said, I don't play it and I'm the worst po uh, person to talk about that. Uh, next up right here is Spectirior. So this is the dark type Pokemon, I do believe. So wild horse Pokemon, it probes its surroundings with uh, all its senses save one. Um, it doesn't use its sense of sight. Spectirior's kicks are said to spirit soul from body. As it dashes through the night, Spectirior um, absorbs the life force of sleeping creatures. It craves silence and solitude. Ability Grimne. When the Pokemon knocks out a target, it utters a terrifying neigh, which boosts its special attack stat. So this sounds like that it is a ghost type, so we're going to have an ice and a ghost type horse, which is pretty cool all in all. I love those descriptions of the Pokemon. Basically, they sound like assholes in my personal opinion right now, man. Maybe they just have a terrible background, and we got to learn a lot more about that once we actually play to the Crown Tundra. But Glasterior, man, just knocks out and wants to get stuffed by force. Kind of scary, man. Like, geez. And then we have 898, which is Calyrex, the cane Pokemon. Calyrex is a merciful Pokemon capable of providing healing and blessings. It reigned over the Gala region in times of yore. Calyrex is known in a legend as a cane that ruled over Gala in ancient times. It has the power to cause hearts to mend and plants to spring forth. Ability on nerves. So that's kind of cool. So like just basically ending it off that he used to rule over Gala and now he's chilling within the crown tundra right here. And definitely that Glasterior and Spectirior are like kind of like the, the guards for him basically. So it's kind of cool to have a little bit of description right there. We also, of course, have the Ice Rider and uh, I believe it says the Ghost Rider here or, or the Shadow Rider for Calyrex. So 
Calyrex Ice Water Hiking Pokemon. According to lore, this Pokemon showed no mercy to those who got in its way, yet it could heal its opponent's wounds after battle. It said that this Pokemon uh, once moved a large forest and all the Pokemon living there to a new location overnight. Jeez, man. Man, I like, I would say, like, just Calyrex and these horses in general, man, they are just non friendly whatsoever. I wonder if they're gonna actually be like that within the Crown Tundra right here during their, uh, their descriptions here. But moving a whole entire flock of Pokemon in a large forest, uh, overnight. All right, well, I guess he has a psychic type, but still, like, goddamn. And then we have Calyrex Shadow Rider right here, another high game Pokemon. It said that Calyrex and the Pokemon that have bonded with uh, with it ran all across the Gala region to bring green to the wastelands. Legend says that using its power to see all events from past to future, this Pokemon saved the creatures of a forest from a meteorite strike. I'm, the Shadow Rider is a lot better, man. It sounds like the Ice Rider is an asshole, and the Shadow Rider is actually providing good for people, man. Like, I would have to say, design-wise, the ice looks a little bit better, but for a friendly point, the Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and uh, Spectre are definitely a lot more friendlier, that's for damn sure. And then they give descriptions here and there about uh, the Regis, which we all know about, like their abilities and all that stuff, which we've known about for months now. And then the last thing I want to talk about right here is, like I said before, guys, and I want to help people out as well if you do use Twitter, saying right here from Central Release that story and character related spoilers will be marked with Crown Tundra spoilers, so you can choose to mute that hashtag or ignore posts with that warning. Other content, including no po new Pokemon and forms, will be posted normally without any spoiler tags. So like I said, before guys i'm not gonna dive deep into this at all i want to go into this like into this dlc spoiler free kind of even though i just talked about spoilers with the shines and like that but with the story in general i want to experience that for myself personally and i'm pretty sure that you guys want as well but if you're on twitter and you want to look at spoilers just hashtag crown tundra spoilers but the dlc comes out in two days guys i'm pretty sure that we could wait for that we waited literally a year for this dlc and it's literally right around the corner right there but yeah those were the spoilers and leaks here today we got a lot of information about that man it's actually insane to the shinies to the character descriptions to the english names of the horses and yeah i was surprised man it actually uh like i thought we had to experience the horses in general if they're actually legit or not but no we got the full-on descriptions of them here today it's cool to see that but yeah man we'll have to experience it in two days and i'm really looking forward to it hope you guys enjoyed this video here today i know that's a little bit long but there's a lot to cover with leaks and information and all that stuff here today for pokemon um like i said guys i'll be doing my 12 plus hour stream on the crown tundra here very soon also guys the time zones have been officially revealed as well which i'll talk about in a separate video right after this one goes up but i hope you guys all enjoy it thank you guys for your love and support seriously on these pokemon videos if you guys have anything comment down below what are you guys' thoughts and opinions on the shinies of this on the legendaries the horses in general the dlc what do you guys expect on that subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't that'd be greatly appreciated and also give the video a thumbs up as well but either way guys thank you so much for your love and support and of course we'll see you guys more in the crown tundra news here soon guys like i said we're two days away and i cannot wait but either way guys much love as always guys have yourselves a wonderful day